chip lead of Mad Marvin Redmeyer from Germany, 11.5 million in chips. The other two guys don't have two million. Winner tonight getting 1.2 million. All right, Andy's 25,000 blinds, 75 and 150. Here we go. Michael the Grinder is Rocky first to play. And the Grinder going for his third WPT title tonight. That would time with Carlos Mortensen and Gus Hansen as the winningest players ever on the Come World on. Poker Tour. In the meantime, we've got an all-in bet here. Mad Marvin's just gonna push with just 10 high. He's gonna look at a King 10 of spades. And he's gonna make the call. Wow, he's made the snap call here with King 10. Now Mad Marvin surprised that a guy that everybody says plays so tight would put all his chips in there with King 10. Marvin obviously been playing very aggressive and the Frenchman just not going to be pushed around by Mad Marvin or the grinder. Philippe has made a solid call with King Ten of Spades. Let's see if he can outflop the chip leader. Yes, it's a 6-6-4. Six, six, That's good for Philippe. The King Eye is still good. Mad Marvin going to have to catch a nine or two runners to make a straight or a flush. Big turn card coming up. It's a Queen of Spades. Also good for the Frenchman Philippe. So Mad Marvin must catch a nine to win the pot. It's Nothing else will do. The river. Oh, it's gonna hurt so bad. <laughs> Down to the river. Can Mad Marvin suck out? No, a four spades on the river. Philippe Catorza, the amateur player, only been playing poker for three years, gonna take down this pot and double up. The Hammer's real loving it right now. His nickname is The Hammer, and they put the hammer down every time he wins the pot. Oh, they are one happy bunch. Whoa. Gives me goosebumps. Love that hammer. But I love that call. Not an easy call to make with a King 10 for your tournament life. The World Poker Tour on TV in France, of course, we love it. And uh, we see the famous player playing, so we learn about how they play. And we dream to be there. And today it's happened. Yes. Yes. Money, OK. It's, of course, it's nice. Now it's big money. My money, I make it on my work. Oh, man. Here, I want my pleasure. I want to be a champion. It's for that I play. That means he's a rich guy, Vance. That's what that means. <laughs> Has a good attitude at the table. Plays real solid poker. And he just doubled up that last hand off of Mad Marvin. Mad Marvin still out in front here, but sort of shocked that the amateur would make such a snap call with a King-10 for all his dough. All right, Philippe has a pair of eights. And he's up against two very tough pros here for him to win this title. I have to play well and catch well. 350 to go. Is Rocky out? Mad Marvin. Let's squeeze the cards with him. Ooh, pair of fives. Marvin better be careful oh. here. He's gone all in. Cool. And a quick call by Philippe. And a snap call by Philippe, and he has his opponent dominated. This will be an extreme hit for Mad Marvin here. If he loses this pot, no doubt about it. Yeah, yeah. The Frenchman who started out in sixth place will be the chip leader if he wins this pot. Lucky Philippe. Can he stay lucky with the flop? Here we go. The flop is king nine seven. Well, king nine seven, two spades. Mad Marvin needs a five. Marvin looking sick right now. Well, the board pairs kings. We are down to the river. And if Mad Marvin doesn't catch a five, the amateur businessman from France will be the chip leader. Can Philippe it's do it? Yes, he does. There you go. Incredible. Time and time again, the Frenchman has gone all in. He has won the pot, but Beth, he's had the best hand every time he's moved all in. Every time. Oh, boy, Mad Marvin feeling the pain. Well, Vince, the guy spewed off a whole lot of chips right there. Oh, Mike, it's going it, to, it's happening again. There it is. Oh, yes. So wonderful how they do that hammer thing. Well, Vince, the crowd's stunned right now, as they should be. The amateur from France who came into this final table in last place by a long margin yeah. is now the chip leader with three <laughs> players left fighting it out for this title. And in 10 seasons on the World Poker Tour, only three other players have come from sixth place to first place to win a tournament. But we've never <laughs> had an amateur win this tournament. Philippe, 49 years old. Big upset in the making right now. Action going to the grinder, though. I'm all in. Well, looks down at threes and goes all in. He's on the distant short stack here. Can't blame him for going all in here. Bad man, he's got ace 10. I call. And he's gonna make this call. Philippe gets out of the way. 
So another all in and another call. Eight ten for Marvin. This one I care about. Up against the pair of threes for the grinder. Well, the grinder's got to win this race, or he'll be out in third place. Madman's so excited, his pants are falling down. Not much has gone right for these guys at this final table here, at least lately, anyway. But something's going to go right for one of them right here. Here comes the flop. Ace and a ten right on the flop. Come ace, queen, ten, all spades. The grinder does have the three of spade. If a spade comes up, the grinder makes a flush. No, <laughs> and we'll take the Everybody lead. So happy. <laughs> the grinder looking for a three or a spade. To the turn we go. Let's take a look. A 10, it's over. A full house for Mad Marvin. That's gonna do it for two-time WPT champion Michael the Grinder Mizraki going to be out in third place. So much on the line as we go into our final heads-up battle of the season. Yeah, the winner going to take home $1.2 million and get his name on the WPT Champions Cup. The runner-up going to take home $800,000. Mad Marvin looking for his first big-time poker tournament title. He could do it if he can win this heads-up battle. But the lone amateur who came into the final table in sixth chip position with a great shot to take the title as well. All right, to the play we go. Philippe, he's got king, queen. He's raised to 300,000. And Marvin has called. Here's the flop. Yeah, Jack eight three all clubs. As you can see, Mad Marvin has a flush draw and a good shot straight draw. They both check. And then the 10 on the turn has hits Mad Marvin. Pair of 10s. His opponent now has an open-ended straight draw, as you can see. And Philippe has checked. Marvin going to bet with the 10s, 275. Now remember, Philippe raised before the flop. He checked on the flop and the turn. And now he's going to raise it here, Vince. Very sneaky. Makes it 775. Well, when a guy checks a couple times and then raises you, you just think he's got a monster hand. But oh, Marvin has made the call because he has a flush draw and a straight draw and a pair of 10s. River card is a five of spades, no flush. Philippe has. Nothing but king high. Does he have the heart to bet this? The continued bluff goes on here by the Frenchman. Uh, weaker players would check on the river. They wouldn't continue the larceny. But the Frenchman's doing it with a bet of 875. Can he push Madman out? That's Mad Marvin's girlfriend over there. I wonder if she'll scream out, call him, call him. This would be the call of the night. One of the calls of the year, I can tell you. It's just not something you would expect out of an amateur player in the first hand of the heads-up battle here. And Marvin saying, does this guy have the gall to bet without a hand? And he's going out. Look at this. Philippe is going to show oh, it. The Frenchman showed him the bluff. He's put the salt in the water, stirring it up, throwing it into that deep wound of Mad Marvin. And that's going to sting. And there you see Joe Sirock. He's the WPT Player of the Year, Season 10, at the Royal Flush Girls Social Bar. And there's also Faraz Jaka in his Liberace outfit, looking good. Faraz, the season eight WPT player of the year. So big time players sweating out this final table. Philippe now with almost twice as much in chips. That's the way it's going right now. Back to the table. Wow, a bluff on deal number one of this heads up battle. I love that the Frenchman showed it to him, shaking the madman up this time. Mad Marvin has an 8-7, and he's raising it to 300,000. And Philippe is going to look down at, oh my goodness, the pair of queens. He's got the ladies, and look at this. He's, he's going to play it sneaky, just calling. Here's the flop. Oh, and it may work out very well for him. As his opponent has flopped top pair, and he's got an over pair. Yep, they both check here. Turned card, a nine of clubs. So now it's on Philippe to act first. He's got that big over pair. Tried to trap earlier, but now he's got a bet. Looks like 475. I am in shock that Mad Marvin did not bet that flop with the top pair. Now he's got an open end straight draw to go with this pair. But it's like he just smells a rat in the kitchen here. Wow, look at this. He just got a call. Not going to get fancy with it. He respects Philippe. Down to the river we go, and look at this. Oh, man. Queen on the river. This gives Philippe three queens. 
Now, yes, there's a possible straight out there, but Philippe will be going nowhere except to the center of the pot with his chips here. Oh, boy. That's 1.3 million. And now Mad Marvin has got to figure this out. Can he lay down this hand? No, he doesn't. He calls it, and he's going to pay for it. Well, he's made the call here. Oh, look at the look. Claude Doms, he said. Three queens. Give me the money. Just incredible run this guy's having here at this final table. Oh, here come the Philippe guys with the hammer. Now, Vance, he shows you that you don't have to be a top pro to win out here in the World Poker Tour or to even compete with these pros. He has done it all night long. Playing well, catching well. And I don't care if you're pro or amateur, that's a tough combination to beat. Mike, he's only been playing poker for three years, but he's playing high, high level. And now the blinds are going up to 125, 250. Action on Philippe Catorza. Picks up another pretty good hand here. Green jack of clubs. He's getting out raising chips, makes it 550 to go. And Mad Marvin has got to be tilting off a little bit. And he, this time he's got an ace four of diamonds. Come on, then. He's lost half his chips at this heads up battle. He's putting the other half in right here. I am surprised at this snap call. call by the Frenchman here. Mad Marvin has the best hand. And again, he's saying, wow, this guy called over three million with Queen Eye. Could the upset be complete after this hand? It will be if Philippe can help his hand. Philippe, a little bit of a dog, but going for the kill here. He wants the WPT World Championship. He sees it's a possibility, but he's still behind at this point. Well, if Mad Marvin wins this pot, we'll be virtually dead even in chip count in this heads up battle. If the freshman wins, he'll be our champion. Will the hammer get lucky on the flop? Let's take a peek. No. And he's right on the flop, but also a queen. You saw Philippe get so excited when he saw the queen. And then he got D excited when he saw the ace. Yeah, Mad Marvin hit his aces on the flop. Mad Marvin just standing on the sideline, holding his breath. Elena Diamonds comes up. That means the jack of diamonds will not help Philippe, as it will give Mad Marvin a flush. He must catch a queen or a jack that's not a diamond if he's going to win the tournament right here, right now. Mad Marvin with a big shot to double up. Here we go. It's the diamond. Mad Marvin makes the flush to double up. And folks, don't go anywhere. We're well, after doubling up Mad Marvin there, Philippe now only has a narrow chip lead in this heads-up battle. He's got 8 million. Mad Marvin Rettenmeyer from Germany sitting on 7.2 million. Action going to Mad Marvin as he looks down at an eight, three of diamonds. And he will raise it up, makes it a half a million to go. Philippe with a queen seven. Well, got the computer hand, the queen seven offsuit. Philippe is gonna stick around, makes this call. It's known as the computer hand because with two random cards, it's 50-50. Whether you'll pick up a two card hand, that'll beat that. Look at this flop, eight, seven, three. That's two pair for Mad Marvin. And middle pair for Philippe. So great opportunity for Mad Marvin to extract some chips from his opponent. Philippe has checked, and Marvin's going to bet 425. Philippe with just sevens is, whoa, uh-oh. Careful there. He's going to toast his croissant here with a raise. Well, Mad Marvin hopes so. You flop two oh, pair. Boy. With an eight high, no flush draw possible out there. You gotta love having two pair here. Philippe has misstepped here so far, at least. He's making 1.2 million. Now, oh, you got two pair. If you're mad, Marvin, you just okie dokie called, you pop it. Nope, he's oh. gonna raise it, Vince. Wow. Another million. This is the time to say goodnight. I believe if you're the Frenchman, get out of trouble right now. You took your stab. Not giving it up yet, Vince. I'm I don't know why. Whoa, whoa! He has gone all in here. And Mad Marvin has called him, and he's way out in front with two pair. Perhaps the first bobble by the Frenchman tonight, Vince, and it could cost him this tournament. We shall see. Well, a nine comes off. Not good for Philippe. 
Philippe must so catch a queen or a seven. Nothing else will do. Allez, toi. Mad Marvin holding his breath. If Philippe should get lucky and hit a queen or a seven, this tournament would be over. Yeah. It's a ghost. There you go. Mad Marvin has won the biggest pot of this tournament. No question about it. He doesn't have all the chips, but he's about got them all, Vince. Mad Marvin Redmeyer is on the verge of becoming the season 10 WPT World Champion. Oh, man, that is absolutely crippling there for Philippe Catorza. Yeah, the French crowd quiet there. I know the man made a bobble, that's for sure. Well, it tugs all around, but it's not over yet. So don't celebrate prematurely. We learned that lesson before in the World Poker Tour. Mad Marvin going over to his girlfriend, getting a big kiss. Hopefully the lucky kiss to possibly end this, as you can see, Philippe now circling the drain, almost out of here with just about 825,000 left. And it's on him now. He's just got a jack five, and he's going to push it all in. Marvin with the five deuces spades. He's yeah. going to call this, Mike. <laughs> well, I know he's got a lot of chips. I know it's only another 550,000 to him. And if he wins it, he'll be our champion. But I'm not fond of this play. I mean, you've got a massive chip lead. Why give your opponent 550,000 more and let him double up here? It's not a good flop there for Mad Marvin as a king 9-8 appears. So Philippe out in front with a chance of doubling up. And a nine of spades on the turn. Eight. That means if an eight comes off, they would split this pot. Mad Marvin needs a deuce to win it. A five would give him a split as well. But it's a jack, so the Frenchman gonna double up here. Well, Mad Marvin's still well out in front, but still, you have to wonder. I know it was only 550,000. I know you're champion if you win it, but can't you wait for a slightly better spot than a five deuce to call the guy? All right, Mad Marvin with the opportunity of a lifetime. Marvin. He has gone all in this time with Jack Five. Call. And Philippe with an ace nine has made a call, and it's a good one. Mad Marvin getting a little reckless, in my opinion, here. Called the all in bet a minute ago with a five deuce. Now he's moving all in with a Jack Five off suit. The Jack Five is the hand he just lost to a moment ago when Philippe doubled up. Now, can he take him out with it? That's the question. The hammer has hope. Oh, boy. There you see Philippe's good buddy, Guillaume Darcour, WPT champion himself. Well, the flop comes up ace, eight, seven. That's aces for Philippe. The Frenchman loving that flop as a five on the turn. That gives Mad Marvin a pair of fives. And Marvin needs to catch a jack or a five to win this pot, though. If you don't win this, get rid of the hat. Here we go. And a deuce comes off. So Philippe doubles up yet again. And Vince, right about now, Mad Martin's starting to get slightly concerned. Well, the hat goes off, realizes that was the news. Marvin, the madman, Rhett Meyer with 11.9 million. Philippe, Catorza, 3.3. Action on Philippe. He looks down at a queen jack of clubs. And there's a raise with that quality hand. Makes it 625. Marvin with an ace four spades, Mike. Well, just a moment ago, Mad Marvin Redmeyer had a 17 to one chip lead over his opponent. That has now shrunk down to a three and a half to one chip lead. Mad Marvin has doubled this guy up Marvin. a couple times, but this time going all in, he gets the call he wants. Mad Marvin, a favorite to take down the title right now. Mad Marvin out in front. He knows if his ace high stands up, he'll be the season 10 WPT world champion and get his name engraved on the WPT Champions Cup. Two guys desperate for this title. WPT world championship all on the line right now. He's four up against Queen Jack. Here come the first three. And the flop is a jack for Philippe. He's hit a pair of jacks. Well, the French go crazy as their man takes the lead here. And there's four spades there for Marvin, though. Mad Marvin has a flush draw. Needs a spade or an ace. Six of hearts on the turn pairs the board. So Philippe out in front. Now, Mad Marvin looking for a spade or an ace. 
Can the madman do it? He took the hat off. Will it be lucky for him? The five of clubs comes off. It's hammer time again, Bets. Philippe back up to 6.6 .6 million. Incredible. And it looks like the surprised by the amateur. You don't know how they play. And that mixes up pros, so not easy knocking off a so-called amateur in this game anymore. Let me tell you, when you're in a race situation, doesn't matter if you're a pro or an amateur, you got to win them to win tournaments. Look at this, Mike. Lines have gone up to two and four. Marvin has an ace jack of clubs. And he's smelling the kill. He has raised to 800,000. Take a look at Philippe's cars. He's got a pair of eights. This could be shove time. Yes, oh. he's going to shove all in a quick hole. So here we go. Vince, it seems only fitting that it comes down to a race. All this plan, seven days, and it could come down to the classic race, the two overcards versus the under pair. Come on, let's do it. Mad Marvin out in front in terms of chip count. So if he wins this pot, he'll be our champion. If Philippe wins it, he'll be the new big chip leader. Everybody on their feet, holding their breath. And there comes the flop. Well, it's 10-7-5, the 2 eight still out in front. Yeah, no good for Mad Marvin, looking disappointed there. He's going to need some luck here on the turn. It's a king of spades. Philippe still out in front. That means a queen will now make a straight for Mad Marvin. So he's looking for an ace, a queen, or a jack. Mad Marvin would become our champion. Here we go. Nope, a seven comes off. Heartbreak for Mad Marvin as he loses this pot. And once again, the Frenchman has a big chip lead. The hammer just won't go away. Just incredible, the comeback he's had. Playing really nice right now. Well, Vince, we're witnessing an incredible heads-up battle in Season 10. Now, we got more to come. Stay with us here for the final of the WP. In Season 10, but we've got one more name to add to that Champions Cup. We certainly do. Will it be Philippe Catorza? Only been playing poker for three years. He's got 11 million. Mad Marvin down to 4 million. Here we go, Mad Marvin. Oh, he's got a pair of 10s. Wired up. This could be revenge time. Lines are now two and four hundred thousand. Remember, Marvin makes it eight hundred thousand. Philippe gonna have one ace and a four, but he's gonna push all in and he gets a quick call. Yep, the snap call by Mad Marvin. So the men raise worked to perfection for Mad Marvin at least so far. He entices his opponent to move in. Now will the ten stand up? Yeah, well, there you see Guillaume, dark horse WPT champion in the pink hair there. Holding his buddy, said, we're going to hit an ace this time, my friend. Don't worry. Mad Marvin out in front right now with a 210. If he wins this pot, he'll be our chip leader. If not, it'll be over. And the flop is a king seven, deuce 10, still in front. No help for Philippe right there. To the turn we go. Well, a three comes off. That means Philippe can catch a five and make a straight. So Philippe needs an ace or a five to take this title right here, right now. Here we go. River card. It's a deuce. And with that, Pot Mad Marvin takes the chip lead in the heads-up battle one more time. Can you believe that we're going back and forth this much in this heads-up battle? No, Mike. What an unbelievable end to season 10. At first, it was Philippe the Hammer, who had complete control of this match, but then Man Marvin doubled up twice to have a commanding chip lead. It's just amazing. Well, you're never completely out of it when you're playing heads up, Vince, as you know, and Philippe had to double up four times to snatch the lead back from Marvin. And after that last hand, it's now Mad Marvin, who's back to being the chip leader. Simply incredible. Yes, it is. You just wonder the mental strain on these guys for going back and forth like this. Oh, wow, look at this, Mike. Marvin has picked up King's gigantic hand. How do you massage this? Well, he's going to make it. Looks like the minimum raise. And that's exactly the case. Yeah, 800,000 total, Philippe. And look at... Oh, oh. wow. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He's well, got jacks. Man, this is known as a cooler in poker world, as you know. 
when you're playing heads up poker here. If he raises here, it's all going in free flop. There we go. It's all in. Nothing the Frenchman can do here. The guns are firing. Kings versus Jacks for the WPT World Championship. One more time, Mad Marvin celebrating her prematurely here. Didn't learn a lesson from before. Certainly, both players gonna get their money in with these hands. Just a cooler, as we call it. You're gonna get in with the Jacks, you're gonna get in with the Kings in a heads-up battle like this. Five cards to come. Let's see what happens. Well, it's come ace nine three. So far, so good for Mad Marvin. If he can just dodge a jack, he's going to be the season ten WPT World Champion. They have both been on an emotional roller coaster all night long, and here comes the turn. It's a ten of clubs. Philippe Cortorza has two outs. He must catch a jack to stay alive. Can Philippe suck out? Mad Marvin, one card away from becoming WPT champion. Let's see the river card at our WPT World Championship. It's an ace. There it is. Mad Marvin Redmeyer has done it. He is the WPT World Champion for season 10. And what a battle it was, Vince. I'll tell you, Vince, you got to take your hat off to the Frenchman. Though. Give him a salute. What a performance he put on all week long, and especially in this heads-up battle. Mad Marvin has done it. He's our champion. Oh, that's nice to see. Good sportsmanship all around. And what an effort the amateur Frenchman put on. But when the smoke cleared, the guy with the big chip lead starting his final table is now engraving his name on the WPT Champions Cup.